Hello, Daily News readers. This is Andy Martino, your Mets beat writer, coming to you from outside City Field. The Mets are wrapping up a homestand this week against San Francisco and Miami, which included the return of Jose Reyes to City Field. He was booed heavily, which is interesting for somebody who his former team, the Mets, did not offer a contract to, but people were not happy to see Jose Reyes return to Queens by and large. But, you know, the Mets dealt with that. They're very happy with Ruben Tejada, who's their current shortstop, and they're moving on this weekend to a road trip that'll bring them first to Denver and then to Houston. Friday night in Denver will be when their lack of depth in the starting rotation will be tested for the first time. With Mike Pelfrey out with an elbow injury, Chris Schwinden, a young guy who made his major league debut last year, will get the start against Colorado. It'll be interesting to see how he does and the Mets' hopes of remaining competitive this year in some ways depend on that. Schwinden is a right-handed pitcher, does not throw hard. Uh, if you want to be optimistic, you could compare him to Dylan G, who does all right in the Mets' rotation, knows how to pitch without a whole lot of fastball. And the Mets coaches like Schwinden and hope that he can be and think that he can be another kind of Dylan G type. However, at the beginning of this season, they didn't think that Schwinden was necessarily ready for a full big league year. Now, because of the injury to Mike Palfrey, Schwinden is going to be tested in Colorado, and we'll see how that goes, and that will begin this road trip and set it off on one note or the other. After that, you go through Colorado and you go through Houston, which is interesting from a historical standpoint because, of course, the Mets and Astros came into existence in the National League in 1962. The Astros are moving to the American League next year, so this will be the Mets' final visit to Houston in a long time, unless there's an interleague matchup down the road. And that's something that, of immediate importance, not so much. You have two teams near, ultimately, who will probably finish near the bottom of their division. But you have something that is interesting on a broader level for both franchises. And there you have it. That gets you through your next week for the Mets. And they come home next weekend after that, and there you go. So we're out. Goodbye.